What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got an interesting video to share with you guys. Um, I want to go over some DLT trading exclusives. Now, uh, I uh, do have an affiliate program set up with DLT trading. What does that mean? It means that if you use the links down in the description of this video for any of the items I'm going to highlight here, it does benefit my channel. But DLT trading did not request that I do this video. Um, they did not uh, pay me to do this video. In fact, the only conversation I had with them was, hey, guys, do you mind if I screen record your website? I'd like to highlight some of your exclusives. Uh, and they said, yeah, sure, no problem. So that, you know, just full disclosure, that's what's going on here. But I like DLT trading. I've been shopping with them since way before I started the channel. Um, I like the layout of their website. There's a bunch of cool things here as far as just ease of access and exploration that it's just, it's nice. Um, they've got some really good exclusives. Exclusives. And a lot of you guys already know about DLT trading, but I know I've got newcomers, uh, you know, uh, coming into my channel all the time. And um, I just, I, that's why I sought out their program because I really, really like DLT trading. Now, a lot of you guys might be thinking, why do we need to watch a video on this? We can go do this ourselves. Yeah, you're right. You totally can. In fact, I'll make it easy on you. I've linked um, actually their exclusives, exactly what I'm looking at here. Um, I've linked this page right down at the top of my description so that, um, you know, if you don't want to watch this, that's fine. You can go look for yourself, but there'll also be links for each one of these items. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. Um, I do have a Patreon link down in the description. So um, I took a quick look and honestly what I come here for often are Hinderer exclusives because I'm a huge Hinderer fan and they have some great Hinderer exclusives. And I come here for Hinderer parts because they have like one of the best selections of Hinderer parts out there. But a quick glance at this page showed me that they have a lot more stuff that I knew about. So I thought, well, instead of going through and, you know, checking out every single one, I kind of want to go through this organically um, and do a different type of screen recording than I normally do, which is just still shots and then I swipe through them. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of interesting stuff. You can see here, Buck 110 Ultimate Hunter um, in S35VN, uh, Black Linen Micarta, Green Canvas. They've got some Diamond Wood, really interesting. I'm going to pick out things that I think uh, that I think are interesting. Now, this isn't something new, and a lot of people know about this, but they do have a really interesting Benchmade Griptilian, the 551-1701. Um, this is an M390 blade and carbon fiber, and it does have these uh, really cool brass standoffs. I've actually owned this knife in the past past. Um, this is a fairly expensive knife at $233, but I know there are a lot of Benchmade Griptilian fans out there who really just want a carbon fiber one. Um, yeah, this is, uh, if you if you like how this looks, this is a great knife. Um, it's got a little bit of uniqueness going on with the scales. Uh, these little sort of, they're almost like chevron patterns here. Um, I like this. This is one of my favorite um, Griptilians that's out there, and it even comes in uh, black. So, Every now and then, you know, people mention this knife, but uh, when it gets brought up, there are always people in the comment section saying, I didn't even know that that existed. So that's pretty cool. Um, moving on here, um, we'll get to the, sorry, my, my camera's jumping around a little bit here. Um, line still, uh, best man slip joints, um, single blade in the sheep's foot. Looks like that is an exclusive here at $119. People who like this sort of modern traditional look. Uh, they've got a lot of different styles here. This Mike Carter, of course, looks really nice. I want to highlight this one here. I think that's twill or silver carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> that's super nice. It's got the nail nick. It's got M390. I'll actually give you guys a look at all the different ones that we've got here. Carbon fiber, what looks like silver twill, and then the brown micarta and the red micarta, I guess. Really nice. At $119, I know that this is a knife that a lot of people seem to had a lot, have a lot of interest in, so that's definitely something I wanted to highlight. Um, let's see here. Sorry, page reloading. Um, let's scroll down. Some Swiss Army classics in the. Um, it's got the uh, Warthog, or it says Warhawk actually. Um, the uh, Hinderer three inch XM18 no choil is something that they do here. They do that. So the no choil stuff for anybody who doesn't know, any hinders so hinders come standard with a choil, which is always right here. The no choils only exist at, sorry about that, only exist at DLT trading. So if you like the no choil look, whether you're looking for a three inch in this case, or you're looking for three and a half inch, they do a lot of different blade shapes in the no choil. I have owned a three and a half inch no choil spanto. 
Wonderful knife. People always seek these out after they're gone. This one's in the battle blue and working finish, which is more of a concrete. These come in M390. These are all triway now, as is uh, indicative by that little symbol on the flipper tab, which means they come pre-installed with bearings, and then you can swap out. In fact, there's a picture of it right here. You can swap out uh, for phosphor, bronze, or nylon, or whatever you want. So that's really, really nice. And they, you know, the lock bar inserts on there. So really cool. That's definitely, I mean, a big part of this, uh, being somebody who is a massive Hinder fan, is to highlight all of the awesome stuff that they've got, um, you know, for, for Hinder knives. But we'll look at some other stuff too. Another um, uh, XM18 blade shape that is exclusive to them, our blade variant. Um, this is the Swedge Spear, this particular one, another three inch, but they do have a three and a half inch. This is one of the only places that I ever see some of the weird Anno, uh, Anno stuff, like purple. They, they have purple and green quite a bit on DLT. Now, that's not necessarily uh, specific to DLT, but I do see it here often. Um, they also have weird titanium scales for the XM uh, series knives that seem to only exist on DLT. I know they do random Anno titanium scales that are definitely exclusive to DLT. So if you're looking to create a really wild, unique hinderer that's got an exclusive blade shape and it's got a weird Anno color and it's got a unique scale, DLT trading does this kind of stuff. And it's really, this is literally, it's always my first stop for hinders. And you could ask, I mean, if you if you know them on Instagram or you know some of the people who work there, uh, yeah, they can tell you that I have bought a stupid amount of hinder. I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying like I legitimately shop here and have been shopping here for a long time. And it is largely because of their hinder selection. Um, it is really excellent. I also like the, I mean, as you guys have seen there, I like that zoom feature that they have. Um, so you can get close-ups and they do a great job. I've told them this before. They do a great job of taking pictures. Everything is so detailed and you have every last little angle. If you like to check the lock, the lock up and the centering, they take all those pictures. They know that this is what knife people look for. They, I mean, if you're going to spend some money on a knife, it's nice to know, you know, how the knife actually looks. More swedge spears, three inch. There's the 3.5 inch uh, no choil spanto, so you can check those out. Um, so they have interesting, we'll take a look at this. I know people who are not Hinder fans are like, oh my God, move on, but I just wanna show. So this Warthog stuff that they do, um, if you like that look, I know Slicey Dicey's got a uh, Warthog scale on one of his XMs. Um, they put that, um, you know, they, they mill that into the scales that are actually made by a hinderer. Um, so, you know, they have an enormous selection of scales too. But if you like the unique stuff and you like the Warthog look, definitely. Uh, moving on here, let's scroll down just a bit so we can get back to where we were. Um, the uh, Fullard Spear, I believe I saw that. Yeah, so this is, they have a three inch version of my current knife, which is actually a non-flipper three and a half inch, but the Fullard Spear is also an exclusive blade shape through um, DLT trading. Um, they have flipper 3.5 inch uh, XMs. They've got non-flipper 3.5 inch um, uh, Fullard Spears, which is what I have. And then they have a three inch flipper they come in stonewash, black stonewash, DLC, working finish, blah, 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 blah. The S90V Medfords, this is where you get those. DLT Trading has all the S90V Medford stuff. Moving on here, Warthog Investigator pens through Hinderer. Pretty cool. Tons and tons and tons of different Hinderer variants. It's just insane the different i mean like if anything guys it's i'll link like specifically like all the exclusive hinderer stuff and hinderer knives in general through dlt because it is very even if you're not actually considering buying one right now it's impressive just to look through it i find myself looking through dlt's hinderer stuff just to pass the time because i just like look at him you know i just like looking at all that stuff Protec Emerson CQC7 Gray and Black G10 Two-Tone Blade. That's pretty interesting. Want to highlight that one there. I know you guys like your Protex. Really uh, always impressed with Protex quality, honestly. I mean, every single Protec knife that I have ever handled has just been above and beyond. Protec Godson, black handle with a snake wood inlay. That's kind of a nice look for that classy kind of, you know, I don't know what we want to call that. It's just kind of a classy, cool... <laughs> um, uh, automatic knife. So the Swedge Spear also comes in an XM24. I own an XM24. If you're a fan of just massively, massively overbuilt knives and you like Hinderer's look, um, this literally looks like a folding broadsword. That's, 
<laughs> that deep swedge um, really makes me think of a sword. And uh, yeah, these are big and thick and overbuilt, but because the flat is not so wide up top, because this is a swedge, it actually makes this an XM24 variant that is a little better at puncturing. I love Hinderer's layered G10 scales, especially the blue and black and the forest green and black look excellent. And they contrast well with some of the custom hardware that you can get. So for example, like if you wanted to bronze out an XM uh, 18 or 24, the blue and black looks great with bronze. Um, it just, it's something that I really, really like. These are of course triways, so they've got the lock bar insert stuff like that. But it's nice to, um, to see exclusive blade shapes on even the XM 24s. There are nowhere near as many XM 24s out there as the three and a half inch or three inch. And exclusive blade shapes or weird blade shapes are very, uh, they're scarce. You know, so if that's something that you're chasing down, they're very expensive. But if that's something you're you're chasing down, again, DLT trading, great place to check out. More S90V Medfords, lots and lots of S90V Medfords, more Warthog stuff. I kind of, I'm growing fond of the Warthog look. They even do it on some Jake Hoback knives. Um, DLT trading has, like, it's, the biggest thing here is that they keep a plentiful stock of knives that used to be like non-existent everywhere else, right? I remember, you know, going to some other retailers and looking at one or two models of something they had in stock and thinking, man, I like this, but I wish that it was a different color, a different blade shape, a different finish, a different this, a different that. And it's nice to go to DLT and find the knife, find the knife that I'm looking for and then find a bajillion different variants of, um, of the same knife. Here's another one that I wanted to highlight. Uh, so you guys know I'm not like the biggest fixed blade guy in the whole world, but I do like a nice, you know, versatile, more EDC size. This is, I think these are still fairly large knives, but anyways, the, the Bradford Guardian immediately to me, what stands out about it are the ergonomic lines. I like this type of blade shape. I like a nice, massive forward choil. There's plenty of room in there. The interesting thing about this is that it's in crew wear. Now, the, they do have these in 3V, which are also on the website, um, but uh, I believe what makes this an exclusive is that it is in crew wear. This is also USA made. Um, these have black micarta. Actually, there's a million different, um, not a million, but there's a lot of different uh, scales and things that you can get on these guys. I love the idea of crew wear on a fixed blade. I mean, 3V, obviously, 3V is one of the best fixed blade, uh, blade steel choices that you can make um, in almost any size of knife. Um, but uh, I, I like the idea of crew wear on paper. So it seems like it would translate well to a fixed blade, especially one that's got an amazing blade shape. Uh, and uh, amazing ergonomic lines. So yeah, check out their uh, Bradford Guardian selection for sure. All right, we got to get back to where we were here real quick. Um, but uh, there's definitely some more stuff to take a look at. Here's some more stuff that I saw while just scrolling through here. Um, usually I say stuff like this at the end of the video, but if you guys like this format and you like me just kind of like, you know, you know, there's no script or there's no real plan here or anything. I'm just you know, organically scrolling through this stuff. Did we talk about the no choil worn cliffs? Again, all these no choil variants are DLT. And it kind of surprised me that they did a no choil uh, worn cliff uh, XM18. That one's actually got purple G10, which is another example of them using G10 colors that just you just don't really see in other places. I'm not saying you'll never see it anywhere else. It's just nice, you know, to see stuff like that. Um, I like the weird color stuff after experiencing so many of the same things we see the same color, you know, G10 on like everything. It's nice to see some weird stuff every now and then, you know, um, let's see here scrolling down more. So man, I mean, like if this is not emphasizing the, <laughs> the vast number of these things, like some of these hyper popular models, they stock so many of these things getting to the last page. I know we're scrolling really quick here, but I think that was the essentially the the bulk of what I was trying to highlight there is that we have so many different variants of these amazing knives and they have exclusive blade shapes and and you know special steels and all this stuff. It's just fun. It's fun to go through this stuff. Take a look at DLT trading. Again, like I said, the stuff that I highlighted or the bulk of it will be linked down in the description, you know, conveniently so you can click right to it. But their website really is a breeze to use and they ship super fast and they are so great to communicate with. Again, seriously, DLT did not put me up to this. 
I genuinely like DLT. I sought them out for you know this affiliate program, um, and I, I just I've had nothing but a pleasant experience with their staff. Every time I call in, they're nice to work with. Um, they check over knives if I have additional questions. I'm not saying that these are you know things that you can only expect to see at DLT and nowhere else. But it's nice that they seem so willing to help and that their website is actually friendly. They, I mean, it seems silly to say something like, you know, it's nice that, it's nice that they have a website that actually makes you want to make a purchase, right? You would think that every, you know, retailer website would actually be designed to help you make a purchase. Actually, it seems to be pretty rare. I've, I've navigated through some pretty frustrating um, knife retailer websites and the search feature is just like not basically non-existent. Their search feature is amazing. It knows how to get you where you're trying to go. They have popular brand setup, price ranges, right? You can um, it, you can sort things how you want to sort them, and then each knife, each brand seems to have its own custom you know setup where you can search the different models and the different variants and the exclusives, and it's just really, really good. We're gonna finish up here on this beautiful Battle Black No Toil XM18. Spanto, good lord, that is beautiful. Ah, uh, so um, fair warning: if you come to DLT Trading, it is likely that you will um, end up making a purchase. <laughs> oh man, that is really pretty. Um, I want that. Uh, but yeah, check them out, guys. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this style, this layout, if you guys want me to do stuff like this more often, where it's just screen recorded. Let me know, because this is fun for me. This is something that I do anyway. I am constantly looking through different retailer sites that I enjoy, uh, and I'm going through their exclusives, I'm going through their new stuff, I'm going through their coming soon, and I figure if I do this anyway, I might as well make a video that's fun for you guys to watch and informative for people who didn't know that this stuff is out there. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.